That would be my recommendation. All right, gentlemen, the gopher. In fact, you know what? Oh, I don't have it on here. I was going to fire the rouser, and there's 42 buttons in here. So you guys are spared from the rouser, but the gophers are back in the national championship game against vaunted Quinnipiac. Were you over there in 0203 joining the riots, or were you us? Were you just <laughs> were you just starting? You've hit a there? sore spot. You've hit a sore spot here, Patrick. I was a senior in high school the second what? year they won the championship. Oh, so you and, never and had a I, chance and, to riot, huh? <laughs> so all of my my all of my friends that I met in the dorms were all excited. Yes. They were, let's we got to get go for hockey tickets, and so we had yes. go for hockey tickets all four years. And, uh, and we would Never sit get- there in, in the student section, chant derogatory things at the opposing goalies, <laughs> yes. only to see them come up short time and time again in the NCAA tournament. We did never they, got to experience it. And in those four years, did they ever get back to the Frozen Four? I know they obviously yeah. didn't win. They, they, I did think they, get, they did get, at least once, yeah. Okay, yeah, get back. But, uh, yeah, it isn't, it isn't quite the guaranteed thing that it used to be, but uh, – I, I would think well, it, it's it's Easter week, so they're they're probably not in school, right? There's probably uh, not not in campus, so uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be hard to muster up a riot, won't it? I don't know. I think if they win on uh, Saturday, you can burn some get, stuff still. You can burn a few things here and there. Why not? Oh yeah, there'll be enough students around to to yeah. get something going. But uh, you know that that's good. I'll tell you what. They play like they did last night. Nobody's going to beat them. Or yesterday, whoo, the first period and the third period, they were unbelievable. And uh, they could have had 10 goals if uh, the, the goalie wasn't out of his mind. And they had two taken away. One was, uh, you know, I think Nice probably uh, was in the crease and interfering. But uh, the, the other one was in the net, wasn't it, Judd? So it was it was across the line. The was, glove was, was the kid guy got the glove yeah. on it, but his glove was in well, the net. It was over the line, so they if, say if you had to see the puck. It, but you yeah. could see the puck. Uh, you could see the puck before he put his glove on it that it was in. So if they had called that a goal uh, on the ice, it would have been a goal. But because they didn't, they couldn't see it in. So, mm-hmm. it's but I mean they they played great. I I was I got a little bit. Nervous though, because the first period the Gophers looked like they, they were on a uh, perpetual power play, yeah. and they weren't taking the lead. And I'm like, oh boy, this isn't good. But they're so damn good. They're so fast. Well, uh, when I saw them up in Fargo, they just absolutely dominated the first period. They were flat the second period, and then they were good again in the third period. And that was the same thing last night. They were what the first. 10 minutes of the second period, they got out shot nine to one or something. And then they took over the game again. Uh, once again, idiotic uh, penalties uh, hurt the other team. Uh, they got, uh, you know, how about, how about you kill off the five on three, you get it back to five and four and the period is ending. And some guy decides to take a run at somebody and board him and then go back onto the five on three. That was, uh, that was not a very bright thing by BU, but, uh, Boy, once they got flying around in the third period, whoo, that is that was that was a different level of speed you don't see in college hockey, man. They they have so much talent, it's incredible. Yeah. And if this was, you know, if this was like the NHL and you played a seven game series against Quinnipiac, you probably win in four or yes. five, maybe yes. six games. Mm-hmm. But it's but it's one game. Yes. As we've seen and before with the Gopher hockey team, anything can happen. And Quinnipiac is uh, a, a much more of a defensive-oriented team, I think, than BYU was. And how they beat Michigan? How many of those were empty netters? I I, I watched like ten oh, minutes of that they game. Had two, but, right? So yeah. it was three-two, and then they got two empty netters. Huh? Yep. Michigan, though, no? Michigan much more. T- Michigan, how many number one draft choices? Like oh. four, five, six. They've got like nine guys, ten guys. They they, they got a, a ridiculous amount who, who have just been drafted across the board. It's yes, like six but, but first how, rounders. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah, yeah first rounders. Good. That's what I was. I mean, incredible. They and and they got the freshman, but they screwed around and uh, let it be two two going into the third period. The other team gets the first one. Pucker time, maybe pucker <laughs> time, and that's uh, you know that happens in uh, in hockey and uh, especially in college hockey when you uh, 
when you give that one up and you, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of amazing upsets in college hockey these years are used to not like it was, but, you know, I mean, before Moscow came here, that St. Cloud state team in Sioux falls before he got the, they'd already basically hired him yep. and he got that job. And I think they were number one seed, at least in the regional and who they get beat by some air force, you know, air force or somebody, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and that was, that was his last game there. And he was famous for, uh, you know, not getting out. He took him to the five frozen four once, but they, they had some, uh, terrible, uh, defeats. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's no cinch tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, but uh, man, they look good when they get rolling. <laughs> they are, they are something when they get rolling. That's for sure. And it, about, took, it, it took Matsko a couple years as he as he was building yeah. this thing, but I mean, it's been a Recruiting. as everyone thought, it's been a wild success after after four seasons of building what he wanted to. Yeah, uh, I was over talking to him a month ago, or so three weeks, or whatever it was, and. We went through everything, you know, we talked about all the stars and blah, blah, blah. And then we talked about all the other, th- you know, a bunch of other stuff. And then he said, oh, wait a minute. You should mention Luke Middlestead. He said, this kid doesn't get any attention. He said, he's, he's a, you know, the, he's a rock. He's the most competitive guy you're ever going to find. He's wicked smart. He said, he's, uh, he's, he's just fantastic. And then, he, had, he only had like two goals or three goals, and then he's gotten. I think he's gotten three now in the in the NCAA tournament. He got the two from the point mm-hmm. well, last night. So he was a. Uh, he's a. You know, he's the. You know, the the older son is now with Buffalo, right? Mm-hmm. He's middle staff. Yeah. He was uh, and he's played, and he's a good player. But the the twins are different kind of kids, I guess. They're. Uh, they're, um, they, they were not raised to be superstars. They just became super, you know, they just became pretty good players, but, um, yeah, that's, they should win it, but you're right, Phil. I, you know, doesn't, doesn't mean that you're not going to be tied two two in the middle of the third period and some pucks going to go in off somebody's knee and you're going to get beat, you know, then you're going to go, then you're going to have to empty the net and give up another one and blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah, I, w- I do want to shout out. I was texting these guys uh, last night. A high school friend of mine, uh, we graduated together at Buffalo High School in 2003. David Marshall. I knew that he went and played at Quinnipiac. I knew that he had like a 10 year oh. professional career, AHL, ECHL. He's the all time leading goal scorer still. At uh, Quinny? 15 years later at Quinny. Yes. Quinny. Quinny, I looked it up. Quinny started a D3 program. It's a, it's a private school. I didn't know that. It's a private school. Uh, it's gone. It's changed. It, it only opened in the 1920s or sometime, but it's changed campuses about three times as it's gotten larger, <laughs> but they didn't become D1 until 98, 98, 97 or eight. And, uh, and, and they formed, they were part of forming that Metro Atlantic league as kind of the weaklings of Eastern hockey league. That's what Holy cross. That's where Holy cross is from too. Right. Isn't it? And, uh, some of these, you know, these second Merrimack and schools like that, that were wanting to be D D one, they basically formed their own league of these nothing programs. And now they're, they've been pretty good for quite a while here. So I, you know, but I never, I didn't know it was Connecticut. I thought it was a Massachusetts college. It's a Connecticut college. It's right next to New Haven, right next to Yale down the street from Yale, basically. Yeah. So let's get, let's be safe. Let's be safe on Saturday night. Yes. Okay. No, no, don't light any cars on fire. I got my matches. Are we going to grease, grease the poles in Dinky Town or are we going <laughs> to just kind of let it ride? I, I imagine they'll be driving around in the late afternoon there, or the cops, just to see how many people are mingling. That would be my guess. What what bars do we have on campus that we mingle in? Do we do we what what are the bars? Well, there's on the campus? there's the there's the new salad. It depends on what part of campus. Like if you want to yeah. go, you know, to yeah. the Stadium Village area, yeah, you got the new yeah. Sally's. Uh, but, we uh, still have they, whatever the. Whatever the, Dinky, the library is called now, the college club or something. Yeah. You got Dinky Town doesn't have saloons, though, does it? I mean, they don't have many saloons. What, one, basically, you know, over there? Blarney Dinky. serves saloon. Yeah, yeah, but the, uh, you got Stubb and Herbs and over there, but, you know. I'll tell you what, go, go, over, go over to Como, go down about seven or eight blocks. Go If you mm-hmm. if you really yes. want, like a like a dive saloon, go to Sporties well, or okay. go to Manning's right across Manning's. the street. Yeah. 
They yes, changed Manny. Forty's name. It's now um, it's a different name. It's like under the same ownership. It's like the same vibe, but they change it. But those and Mannings are awesome. Como Tap, that's what it's called. The Como Tap. Como there tap. you go. Okay. okay. Well, don't, let's don't burn it down, please. Just yeah, go and enjoy right. a beverage yeah, you guys and are giving celebrate. Yeah. All types of terrible ideas for what people. What, what they time do. they kicking off? They're not playing till like seven thirty or something, yeah. too, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why so late. Come on, let's get her. Let's get her over with. Some of us have to get in, get in yeah, bed by nine. Yeah, nine yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Television purposes, I am sure for ESPN. Hey, I'm sad to report we had a uh, three-hour baseball game yesterday. The uh, Bravos and the uh, Padres, nine inning games, three eighteen. Shut it down. Shut it down. Three, uh, some runs were scored, but uh, there must have been some long at bats or something. Three eighteen. Some, re- some reviews, others. some reviews, some pitching yeah. changes. Like it takes a lot to get to three eighteen now. Oh, shit. it really does. They scored some runs in the game. It was seven to five or something like that, but. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they we got the, the, the streak has been uh, broken. Everything else was 230, 232, something like that. So yeah. today, what time are we to, if we're if we're going to kick off at three, it takes a little longer opening day. So the three o'clock, the first pitch will be what? 313, something like that. They'll have yeah. a next, you know, 313, something like that. What do you think? It's also a sad out? day because it's the first time in 40 years we will be without the Duke, Dick Bramer, yes, for the home the Duke, opener. He the tested Duke's positive COVID. for COVID. He's no. been dodging COVID for three years, and Corey Provis will take you, over the TV how do you test? How do you test positive for COVID? What, what do you even get tested for, right? You just... Uh, you know, you can, you know, I mean, well, there are you tests know. available if, you, if you'd <laughs> like to test swab. yourself. Yeah, Yeah, I know, but I mean, if I got the... If I, if I got symptoms now... I just assume I got the flu, right? What, I mean, I, I don't. A bad cold. Yeah. 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 I don't know what. Don't if, you're, if, know. You're, if you're a bit of an overachiever, you could go buy a test and just kind of confirm. Oh, yeah. We had them here for a while. We had them here for a while. We don't we don't have them now. But uh, that's too bad. I'm sure the Duke will miss it. Was he going to be do? No, nah, he wouldn't be. Uh, he wouldn't be announcing the guys as they line up and do all that nonsense. No. Anyway. I don't think so. Yeah, we missed no. that announcement, the three of us. So we had to wait for an aggregator yeah. to, to write about it because uh, he announced it on Twitter where the three of us are blocked by Dick Bramer. So we, <laughs> really? We had to what wait for bring, me, for bring Me the News yeah. to aggregate yes. the tweet. Oh, and then, yeah. What did so. uh, what did you guys do to offend them? Make a little fun of BSN or something? By the way, I saw Mike Rand had a uh, piece today that uh, the uh, Cleveland and the Twins are the two Teams that they aren't paying, yes. uh, BSN, and I I don't know what the, what what the the explanation of why they chose those two teams is not in there, uh, but they're trying to. Uh, I know that they're trying to negotiate their way out of this thing, and maybe the Twins in Cleveland, because their amount of money they're getting is so low, weren't willing to negotiate it down any further. So. It sounds like because the twins are in, there's there's a big like sports business journal write up about this that because the twins are in the final year, so so Diamond Sports would like to keep some of these intact and move forward, but because the okay. twins are at the end of their agreement, they can just like yeah say goodbye. So, I guess. so I, they're trying to muscle. If you want your money, you're going to have to sign an extension with us. Is that basically what they're smooth what, out the what, smooth out the cap hit? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. I think baseball. I, I think baseball wants the Twins and Guardians out of, of those contracts because I think they they want to step so in and produce the, and produce the games. Yes. So yeah. well, uh, what was the story? Sports Journal, the same thing. Didn't they report their their audience, their customer base? Is down fifty percent in three years or something like that? Three four years, but you know, cable. That's what's happened to cable. Yeah, we have yeah, that as well. The, the twins, yeah, the the twins, sub, the subscriber base to Fox Sports subscriber North base. is down fifty percent in ten years. Yeah, ten, oh, ten years. Okay, it's that long a period. But it's okay. been an, it's been expedited the last yeah. four sure. or five years. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, when they lose, when they lose seventy seven year old guys like me with no technology. Not, technological skills they've basically lost their core audience haven't they yeah so uh anyway hey it, uh, it's only gonna be 50 today though it's not uh, uh it's not yeah. it's not it's not balmy but it's better than it would have been yesterday and yeah. uh that, you know Houston, warm. i don't care 
By the way, if you look at this Houston lineup, you're not playing the world champions here. You're not playing the World Series champions. This is the bottom of that order has got a lot of a lot of strangers on it, and they've been, you know they're yeah, missing Altuve. Uh, they're missing. Um, did Alvarez come back? Did Alvarez? Did the? Uh, did the I'm Al- not sure if he came back. Yeah, but they've had a, they've had a. I looked at their box score a couple of days in a row, and the bottom of it isn't that uh, great. And uh, their bullpen has uh, been a little little shakier. Uh, Ryan Presley blew the opener. I think he blew the opener, and then uh, a couple of their other relievers have not been as great. So they're not. They're going to have to put her back together there. But they usually put it back together here. Uh, what they were six and zero against the Twins last year, and of course we all remember. The uh, series that they came in here, what year was it? Early in the year and scored 41 runs in three yep. games. Remember that series? Yep. When was that? 17, I think, Pat, 27. Yeah, whatever that was. That was, I remember that thing was unbelievable. They were hitting rockets everywhere. So, uh, but hey. Let's have a nice uh, little uh, two-hour and twenty-minute game. Let's go. Right. Let's on. do it. Let's keep it keep the, uh, it snappy. Let's the, go. The fiance asked, "Well, if you're going to the Twins game, how long going to be there?" And I said, "Oh, I'll be back by six o'clock. I mean, <laughs> six, right. the game's going to start at three ten. Well, I'll be home for That's dinner. It. We and we have some dinner plans at six o'clock too. And yeah. for a while, I was like, I don't know, that might be a little bit. I don't know. I think we're pretty safe now. Okay. Pretty safe. Yeah. It's great, especially with this team. Not only do you have speed up rules." But you have a team with good pitching and lousy hitting, which absolutely <laughs> plays into even shorter games, right? Manfred perfection right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I, as a sports writer, you know, the, the 1977 team was as much fun to cover as anybody. But really... It was you was always you were always better off if you had a team that couldn't hit because <laughs> you could get the <laughs> damn games over on uh, deadline time because yes. that that seventy seven game even before it was fashionable fashionable they could play a three and a half hour game the uh, famous uh, nineteen to twelve game on uh, that Sunday June twenty sixth of nineteen seventy seven when Rodney got all his standing ovations and. Glenn hit and bitch Adams drove in eight runs and nobody wanted to talk to him. Everybody wanted to talk to Rodney after the game. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Yeah. En- enjoy. Are you going to be at Target Field for oh, a c- couple oh. games or what's your. I'm going to be there uh, Friday and Saturday. I'm not sure about uh, Easter Sunday yet. I'm, uh, you know, as a dedicated cheester. Uh, Christmas and Easter. Uh, I got to, uh, nope. I got to try to sneak in the, uh, yeah, sneak in church. Although my cheester perfect, my cheester attendance has uh, slipped too in recent years. So uh, <laughs> I try to make at least one of them, and I miss Christmas. So I gotta have, have, have to shoot for Easter. You know, mm-hmm. don't forget pace of mass. If, if it starts to go mass. long, speak up. Yeah, you know, on Easter around. Sunday, on Easter yeah, Sunday, on, on Easter Sunday, I don't think you can worry about pace of mass they uh, it's no, that's singing. that's that's their super bowl it's their chance yeah, to kind of right. go yeah. you know what we yeah. all know the story they got, okay they got the 40 minute halftime show at that one so uh, i'll tell you you have a good time on your uh your cheester <laughs> celebration jim nance is my priest on sunday and oh so that's, that's right what, that's, that's gonna right. be my church oh uh, hey your guy john rob what a prediction phil <laughs> he was he beat four putts Four yeah. putts on the first. I told you that he used the quote, they, but they misquoted him. They all say, Sevy said, miss, 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 make. No, he didn't. He said, Sevy, how did you make, uh, how did you four putt? I miss, I miss, I miss, I make. Yep. That's what he said. <laughs> I was there for that one. I miss, I miss, I miss, I make. And then, he shoots, and, then, and then Rom shoots nine under the rest of the nine way to time for the first Rondo. round lead. Ridiculous. Good luck down there, though, this weekend. It looks like they're going to be playing on Monday. They're going to have lots of rain and wind and cold temperatures. And the high on Saturday, 51. The high Sunday, 59. Great Not- for Tiger. Great for Tiger to grind out uh, <laughs> another. Great for Tiger to shoot him. Nice little high score today and go home. He don't want to be right. home for the first time since 1996, by the yes. way. The yeah, when he was uh, when he was an amateur, right? That's the mm-hmm. only time he missed it was when he was an amateur. So, yep. So, all, right, all right, Pat. Gentlemen. Good stuff. Yep. We'll see you uh, next week. Happy yeah. opener. Goodbye. Hey, all right. All right. Uh, Royce Unchained on Score North.